Good day all my fellow Jeepers. Today's video, it has been asked several times on my Facebook page. It has been asked on my YouTube channel. What are the dimensions for that access panel I have to my fuel pump? I haven't, uh, I haven't released that information simply because I don't want somebody to do something stupid and blow themselves up, okay? There it is, point blank. But I've been asked so many times, I thought, you know what, I'm going to release that video, but you guys know the responsibility is not on me if you do something stupid and blow yourself up. I'll give you the dimensions, drop that gas tank out. Perfect time to do this whenever you got to change your fuel pump or you got to change your fuel sitting unit, you got a bad ground, whatever the case be. That's when you drop the gas tank out, that's when you do the mod, okay? Clear? Deal? Gotcha. So, before we get this video started, hit that like button, subscribe if you have it, and let's get on with it. The mod I'm referring to, the plate right there. And what you're looking at, there's the back end, there's the door. And what that plate is, YJs do not come from the factory with this. If I take this plate off, what I've got underneath here is my fuel pump, my fuel sending unit, all that. I've been asked several times, what's the dimensions so they can cut this hole for theirs? Because I'm gonna, as I'm going to show you here in a moment, it makes getting to your fuel pump ridiculously easy. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pull those screws out right there, and I'm going to show you what's under there. One screw. And then I pick this plate up, which I've got black silicone, they, like you use on your valve covers or something. That's why I've got sealing it up. So pull that off. Right there it is. That's your fuel sending unit, fuel pump. Everything's right there. All you got to do is take those screws out right there. It all comes straight up out the top right there. You don't have to drop your tank. It is ridiculously easy. Now here's the, here is the problem with doing this mod. Whenever I perform this mod, I had my gas tank out. I did the proper measurements from, you know, tub edge to here and had reference points underneath the tub, the Jeep body, as to where I needed to cut my hole. I had my tank out. Now here's, here's the catch. If you do this with your tank in, and especially stock Jeeps, now if you see this big huge gap right here, that's because I've got a three inch body lift. The previous owner put a three inch body lift on this thing, and which I am not a fan of, which I will take out one day, once I get my suspension lift high enough anyway. But that's a totally another story. Three inch body lift here, I'm not subject to hit the tank, but would I still feel comfortable with cutting it with the tank in it? No, I wouldn't. Okay, with no body lift, your tank's gonna be sitting right along in here, so if you cut too deep, you're gonna cut into your tank. And cutting is gonna have sparks. When you do all this right here, I mean, come on, sparks, gasoline, that equals bomb. So therefore, that's the biggest reason why I've never pointed out this mod. But I'm going to, I have, I couldn't express any more of a disclaimer on how to do this safely. Remove your gas tank. I'll give you the dimensions. I'll write the dimensions down here in just a moment. I'll give you the dimensions so you don't have to worry about measuring where they're at. But whenever the next time you drop your gas tank, completely remove your gas tank, then cut this. Okay, so I'm gonna get the measurements marked out for you so you can see what's going on. Got my dimensions laid out for you here. Right here, 14 and a half inches from the edge of the wheel well here, come all the way across to the edge here 14 and one half inches, okay? Continue on across the hole itself, here to here, seven inches wide. Now to locate front to back, seven and three quarter from here, all the way to here, seven and three quarter. Then the hole itself is six and a half inches from here to here. So those should give you the dimensions you need to locate your hole. 
what you do is you measure 14 and a half inches across here make you a mark seven three quarter measure this way seven three quarter make you a mark you'll find your corner when you do that if you make an X right here 14 and a half inches over mark it this way seven three quarter from here to here make you a mark this way you'll locate your corner from that corner measure over seven inches then measure up six and a half inches then draw your rectangle there and that'll be where you cut with your gas tank out please with your gas tank out this and like I said this is one mod that I really have been wanting to release because I'm afraid somebody's gonna do something stupid and blow yourself up now I am not in any shape form or fashion responsible for anybody blowing themselves up because they forgot to take their gas tank out and sparks cut the gas tank and it went boom this is on you okay simple now the plate this I don't know what gauges is just some crap I had laying around but you want it to be thick enough that you know it's not gonna flex whatever so I've had firewood and everything back of this thing I've got to cut seven and a half inches tall nine and a half inches wide then what you do is you kind of get it centered with most your hole right there drill you holes that will accommodate the screws you're going to put in now that's all totally on you what size screws you use or you get self-tapping screws if you want to go that route be a lot easier but nine and a half inches wide seven and a half inches this way tall and if you want to go wider go between this to this and that's fine too water floats your boat as long as your place is big enough that you ain't gonna have a gaping hole here for stuff to fall through and make sure your metal strong enough that's gonna support some weight if you get up in here and you're walking around or whatever the case may be it's, like i said i had a crap load of wood back here not long ago and well didn't want to do it in so just to recap one more time 14 and a half inches from edge of tub to here make your line seven and three quarter inches from here this way make you a line that'll locate your corner from that corner make sure you square with the body here you come over here measure another seven and three quarters draw your line this way seven inches draw your line all the way across that intersection will be your bottom corner then again making sure you're perpendicular off this six and a half inches this way draw your line then seven inches across then make you another one right here six and a half inches tall this way there's your sides then what you do there you just play connect the dots between the two and you're good to go pretty simple easy mod and i promise you this is absolute time saver so to do this mod whenever you have to change a fuel pump or your fuel sending unit or whatever the case may be you got to replace these hoses that's when you do this mod when you got your gas tank removed okay so I'm going to put that back on now. And just so you guys know, that is not dry erase marker. That's permanent marker. So now i got dimensions stuck in the back of my Jeep. That's all right. All right, everyone. You've asked for it. You've gotten it. I've been asked on my Facebook page. I've been asked on my YouTube channel. What is the dimensions for that access panel? And like I told you, you know, I haven't done it simply because I'm afraid of me giving out information and someone do something stupid and blow yourself up. I've disclaimed this right here many times throughout this video already. It's on you. Drop that gas tank out first. Sparks and gasoline do not mix. Boom. Bad. So, next time you have to change out the fuel pump, sending unit, you got uh, grounding issues because YJs are known to have ground issues back there around the gas tank. There you go perfect time to do it so everyone if you like that video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and get some cool comments make them educational make them where they can help other people write them down below and i'll also have this video attached to which one is it that's right www.fixjeeps.com so go over to my website i'll have some dimensions laid out over there for you so you can just print them out and take them with you and you'll have them good to go cool cool so everyone if you like that video, be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, 
Comment down below, make them educational, make them helpful. Peace. There you are.